they are not saying, well, let's let this play out in court. Let's see what happens here. Miniger insists that he wasn't drunk, what have you. No, the Cardinals put out a statement and said, this is inexcusable. He made the decision to drive after drinking alcohol. Fortunately, he didn't hurt anyone. Okay, this is all good. According to MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, drunk driving results in almost 11,000 deaths per year. Number one cause of fatalities on roadways. This is all good. This is all good information, good statement from the Cardinals. We fully recognize the seriousness of these actions. They will have serious consequences. Okay, great. Cardinals didn't hide behind the legal system or not saying anything or defending their guy. They said this is inexcusable. Great. And by the way, the Cardinals have had a series of bad things happen like this. Remember last year? One year ago, their GM got popped for DUI. Steve Keim was arrested and pled guilty to extreme DUI. He was suspended for more than a month by the team and fined 200 grand. And President Michael Bidwell, the owner, said, can't happen. Okay. So that was the 4th of July weekend last year. One of their highest-ranking officials gets nabbed doing the same exact thing 13 months later. Well, you better give Miniger now five week suspension and you better find him 200 grand minimum but I would say go farther because look at what they've done to players just this week one of their starting defensive ends was arrested on assault with a deadly weapon because this Mensa candidate was at a strip club in May and allegedly threatened to shoot a dancer if she didn't come home with him That's the perfect sweet talk that women love. Perfect. Go to a strip club. You fall in love with Destiny. She's got glitter all over. She smells a cheap perfume and spilled drinks. And you go, you got to come home with me, honey. And she goes, well, I'm I'm still working, so I can't go home. Or she goes, "Mm, I'm not really that interested. Or I'm not that kind of girl, even though she's a stripper. And you say, I will threaten to shoot you if you don't. Well, those are the seeds of a wonderful night and a budding romance. So this dude gets arrested, released on bail, and immediately cut by the Cardinals. They had just signed him to a two-year, $10 million deal. Robert Kimdiche. Arrested twice within a week for speeding and driving on a suspended license. Kim D.J. released in June. An arrest warrant issued for their offensive lineman, Desmond Harrison. Domestic violence assault charges. Guess what happened? Cut by the Cardinals. So the Cardinals have decided all this illegal activity... Bad, 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 bad. Okay. First part is, why does it keep happening? You're taking chances, perhaps, on guys with questionable backgrounds. You're also employing front office members that are making bad decisions. So do you have a culture problem here? Maybe the players feel like they can get away with more because their GM who drafted them or brought them in just got nailed on extreme DUI a year ago. But more than that, if you're going to cut every player that runs afoul with the law, what are you going to do with an employee, a team employee? Because what you should do is cut him as well. What you should do is say, can't have it. That's not the way this organization runs. You embarrassed us. That was an awful decision. You could have hurt somebody. Imagine you collided with a member of the community. Imagine you hurt or killed somebody in our city of our fan base. You got to go. But are they going to do that? Or are they going to make examples out of the players, but not out of the executives? If the Cardinals were equal 
and even-handed. Miniger, this dope at COO, chief executive officer, chief operating officer, rather, would get cut the same way the rest of the guys got cut. I'll tell you this. If you cut a guy that was making $10 million over two years, Miniger ain't making that. You've got far more of a financial investment in your defensive end that you cut. The COO is not making $10 bucks over two years. 